What is up guys, it's Snake and welcome back to a brand new video here today and um, today's video I want to give you guys, you know, um, my take on what's the best hip fire weapon in Call of Duty Ghosts and by far guys, okay, um, you are looking at the best hip fire weapon uh, in the game and that's the MTA. Now the thing is, okay, um, many people actually knew this before me that the MTA was a crazy crazy weapon and um, it's hip fire accuracy and the hip fire damage um, is absolutely amazing. But the thing is, I was a, I, I'm I'm a very assault rifle oriented kind of player. Okay, I don't actually use the SMGs, and because I just shoot prestige then, so I didn't really know what else to do. So I just wanted to play around with, with some of the guns, and um, the M T is definitely one of my one of my favorite uh, guns in the game, and definitely my favorite SMGs uh, in the game. Now the game has a couple of SMGs, but honestly, right. I just can't play with either of them except for the um, the MTA. Now, throughout this gameplay, okay, um, I actually forced myself to show you guys how amazing the hip fire uh, accuracy and the hip fire damage of this gun actually is. So, whenever I was actually one on one against the enemy, right, I didn't actually aim down the sides. You guys can see over here, I hip fire him, and then I hip fire this guy as well. And it's just absolutely ridiculous, uh, how fast you can actually put on the enemies, okay? And throughout this gameplay, like I was saying, right, you guys can see that, okay, maybe there were there were a few kills that um, um I actually aimed down the side to kill the enemy because I, I realized that I was on like a 15 gun streak and I thought, you know what, maybe I could, I could have just gone for the KEM strike. But you guys can see later on, around 19, 18 kills or something like that, um, I died and then I really have no idea how I actually died. Uh. But um, yeah, um... So the MTA is actually a really really good gun and I'm gonna get my gold camo for it really really soon. I'm left with the lean kills. You guys should know by now that the lean kills is such an absolute waste of time. But um, yeah, I, I'm left with the lean kills and also 150 kills without any, any attachments. And honestly, I think that those um, uh, challenges can be done really really quickly. Maybe like in 5 to 6 games I'll be done with 150 kills and also um, I'm left with like maybe 10 lean kills, lean kills if, I, if I'm not wrong. So. Yeah, um, and, and also, just to add on, right, to just show you guys how amazing this um, uh, SMG is, you know, I didn't really use the Steady Aim perk um, in, this, uh, in my class setup, okay? I was using, I think, I was using Dead Silence, Resilience, Off the Grid, Slide of Hand, Savinger, and Ready Up. And the thing is, okay, if, for example, I would have the chance to actually use Steady Aim, uh, I think the accuracy of this gun, based on, based on, hip, on its hip fire uh, range, right, will be absolutely insane now the thing is um you can actually save like you know three points and uh, and um two points so you're actually saving five points by not using stalker because this is that, that is one of the perks which i always use stalker the thing is with the smgs you can actually strafe and aim down the side much quicker so you don't actually need um a stalker perk and also like i said earlier that two points comes from the stadium uh perk you can actually save two points from this um from the stadium perk so you can save a total of five points um in the perk um in the perk point setup and yeah anyway and this is also my first flooded gameplay i have on my channel i think so because i've been playing gun game and you know uh free fall and um i've been playing on you know giving you guys uh my my uh take on the best sniper rifle and also yesterday's video on the tips on how to actually improve yourself in call of duty and i realized that all the maps try right, i actually kind of kind of uh, repetitive and i haven't really played any map on any game, I haven't actually put out any gameplay, sorry, um, of, of me playing on Flooded. And right over here, I got killed, okay? I have no idea how the hell I got killed, and I'm so frustrated with myself because I think I was like on a 19th streak, and I could have gotten the KEM strike, to be honest. And um, yeah, so anyway, Flooded, you know, sometimes Flooded kind of pisses me off because people, the, the campers can really, really camp a lot. And um, now with the new map rotation, right, Free Fall has been added into the uh, map rotation, and you know, Free fall, honestly, I started to play free fall. Um, you know, I started to hate free fall a lot, but I actually got my KEM strike on free fall and I wasn't actually recording, but yeah, I got my KEM strike on free fall and I was, you know what, from that point onwards, right, free fall was definitely one of the reasons why, uh, one of the map that I would want to play, um, um, that I would want to play, sorry. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe for more Call of Duty Ghost videos. And by the way, guys, I actually set up my my Facebook page, and um, if you guys don't mind spending a few seconds to actually go down to that Facebook link that I will put right below that like button. And yeah, so check the, check my Facebook page out. This is Snake, and I will see you guys in my next video.